Hey there, guess what? You're back with the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. And you just heard Laura Mustard doing Spin. Before that, Joshua Baum did Marrow and Bone. We started out with R.J. McCarty, just a little longer. So we just heard Laura Mustard spinning her spin tune. Um, <laughs> that's a really catchy tune. Um, Laura was actually... Um, just at first night um, a couple of weeks ago in uh, Northampton, Mass. She's actually now in Nashville. She'd been there for a while, and um, she spent several years here in grad school uh, living in Amherst, Mass, and uh, she's an originally from uh, Fairfield, Connecticut. And this has just got that real Nashville sound and She's got an excellent voice for country music. Absolutely. And this song is really catchy. It's got a very fine hook. When she was uh, here in the area, she spent a lot of time at the Yellow Sofa open mic in Northampton and uh, was part of a couple of bands as well. One as a piano player, another as the drummer. Absolutely. Real talent. Then before that, we heard Joshua Baum with Marrow and Bone. I really like this one. Joshua's out of Northampton, Massachusetts, and I really love his voice. There's some real distinct, like, there's a really distinct style here that I think is really unique and really exciting. Yeah, and he has some excellent finger-picking guitar in there. Um, This song is just, I think, a really feel-good song. This one's off of the uh, Let in the Light album, which came out in 2019. Lovely sort of singer-songwriter style here. It's quite something. We started out that block with R.J. McCarty out of Northampton, Mass., um, doing Just a Little Longer. That's from his uh, brand new album, Tear Back the Sheets. R.J. is an incredibly talented guy. He's also a multi-instrumentalist for the um, um, well-acclaimed band, the Slambovian Circus of Dreams. That's kind of a real uh, well-known psych folk rock band. Lots of fun to see. And uh, RJ's got his own style now as a, as a solo artist. And uh, in fact, this album um, was picked up in England by a radio station in Great Yarmouth, England. And they gave this album, Tear Back the Sheets, um, their award for 2023 album of the year. Well earned, I think. This is really impressive and really talented stuff. I can hear some of those psych folk influences delving into this Americana in a way that feels very of the, you know, 60s and 70s of acts like the Grateful Dead or Greg Allman's work, just in that style while being a more modern, refreshing take on that style. Love the keyboard work here. Love the songwriting here. It's this is a good one. I like it. And you'll be able to see RJ um, at several places. Um if you're skiing at the Berkshire East uh, Mountain Resort, um, several times they'll be there on uh, February 11th, February 18th. Um, that's during the afternoon. And February 16th, you can catch them at the Small Batch Cellars in North Haven, Connecticut. And March 2nd at the Buttonwood Tree in Middletown, Connecticut. So what do we have next? Tunes by Peter J. Newland and Thankful Soul Revival both of whom are going to be appearing at our Open Stage Showcase on February 1st. So let's hear Peter J. Newland do Waiting for a Train. (laughs) 